scotch, bourbon and fried. If they like a bottle, they'll tell you why. Hey everybody! Welcome to another episode of Tranny and C. I'm Tranny, this is C, and <laughs> in front... Hold on, let me do... my, my new heart slogan. Yeah. That's over the left side. And I got the T. Tr- the tranny? The but tranny. then I need to do the C. Yeah. 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 Okay, so we got the uh, Nevada H and C Distilling Co. <laughs> uh, smoke Wagon. Yeah. That's I think cool. everyone knows it as Smoke Wagon. Yeah. Right? Uh, this is uncut, unchill filtered, or unfiltered, I should say. Straight bourbon whiskey from Las Vegas. This is 56.54% alcohol. Let's let's take a look at this little guy. Wow. And because there are certain whiskey people that want to know, you should tell them the batch on the back. So the batch is uh, 155A, and it was bottled on August 7th of 2022. Mm -hmm. Um, Um, Cool. Very nice bottle, like all the embossing and then the... The wax seal Super stamp of cool. approval, which says E pluribus unum. E pluribus <laughs> unum. No, unum. what does it actually say? Uh, it actually says um, bibimus moriendum, which means. Um, and I've already forgotten. Let us drink. Let us drink. Death is certain. Death is certain. It's yeah. a great slogan. It's a good excuse if somebody's on you about your drinking. Mm, let us drink. Death is certain. Yes. Um, and I want to say that um, this was a gift from a friend of mine. Uh, and yep. my, uh, my good friend, he goes to Vegas often. And for us, this is a bottle you cannot get here. Not at all. It just never, I've never seen Smoke Wagon here ever. Nope. Um, and maybe, maybe it has been here, but I've never seen it. And if it was here, you would pay one arm, one leg for it. And... Um, so yeah, so very nice um, when you're always when you're gifted a bottle, yeah, especially so something that's like, like that, yeah. impossible to find. Why don't so. you crack that thing open Please. and let's uh, let's try it on for size? Because um, we are, have been yeah. talking about lately, we don't actually have a lot of bourbon to burn through these days, and we've just got two recently: this one and a Michter's Toasted Barrel. And you, so are, it's kind of nice that we we get to kind of. Which is the exact those, you know? opposite of last year because you were saying you rewatched our Whiskey of the Year video and we were like, oh, we didn't get any scotch yeah, this year. Yeah, it, it was a weak year for scotch Complete 180. So Complete 180. Totally different this year. Okay, quiet on set. Just kind of a slippery pop. No, a little bit kind of sli- Hold on, hold on. Oh. Oh, it's even worse. Zero on the cork pop. Zero. But we're gonna. But the pre glug. Oh, I I'm think expe- this is this is where we're. <laughs> I'm expecting an amazing pre glug. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay. okay, hold on. Get the get the microphones ready for. Is, is yours ready for a pre glug? Oh, yes. oh, hold on. Hold on. Oh, what's going on? Uh, oh. There it goes. It's, it's it got there. It got there. Um, did we talk about the fact that this is sourced from MGP? We did not, but MGP is now called Squibs and... <laughs> Go over there and look. It's a Christine Daisy comment. <laughs> What's that? Ross and Squib? Ross and Squib, I think. Something like that. I got it at Ross. <laughs> and Squib. <clears throat> We're actually simulcasting tonight. Um, Ross and Squib. There you go. Um... We're simulcasting a live stream at the same time that we're filming this video. So Trenny's just going checking the <laughs> And notes. somebody just commented saying, uh, smoke wagon corks are garbage. Mm. Okay, smoke wagon, step up with your cork game. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Nice color. So we have never, wow. we have never, never had smoke this. wagon before. No. Ever. And I, it's funny, just the name smoke wagon. I always expect it to have some kind of peat to it oh, or something like that. Super peaty. But, yeah, um, but, but no. One thing I will say is that for 56.54%, no. this is a very muted nose. Yeah, it almost it feels like it might need to warm up a little bit. or just Even though, no, like the temp's not that whatever. bad in here. Yeah, it, it might need a few minutes to open up, definitely. Yeah. But um, the it nose... It is quite muted. It's like I'm kind of struggling for a nose right this second. My initial, like what I, if I get it, a... It just actually a, has a bit of a rye spice nose to it. I was going to say that. Yeah. Yeah. But you got to dig deep for that. And I mean, at 56.54, that's unusual. 
normally you're going to get booted this, out of there. This could be one of those ones that you add a drop of water later on and it kind of just like Ooh. lets it up. Uh, Where's our little water barrel thingy? Oh. Yeah. Yeah. oh, yeah. It should be fairly clean from last time. Nothing in there? Let's see if we need it. Here, I've got, I got, got some water. On there. Okay. But I'm, I'm going to try it, obviously, first before we add the water. Yeah, but yeah. Just, just in case. But yeah, the it. nose is quite, like, I'm even trying to just coat the glass as much as possible to the glass. get some of the uh, fumage. But the we fumar. can revisit it. Sometimes these things, they, they show up bigly, hugely later. Yeah. Okay, okay. let's get let's, to the let's taste. taste it. Okay. The bigly hugely is definitely on the palate. It shows up. Yeah. Um, initial flavor was kind of like punted by the by the uh, muscular nature oh, yeah. of the uh, percentage. But my first flavor was like that's kind of like a nice sweet. It's it's quite sweet, but I think like the and it could be the percentage, but that rye note that we were getting from the nose ha kind of has that sizzle. But going back in, it's a little bit of that like cedary, like oh cinnamon. Like yeah. it's coming now, right? Like you're getting it now. I am. Yeah, but there's like you know what it reminds me of. What is that? It reminds me of few. Okay. Remember few? Yeah, where they had like that kind of um, tea. Yeah, tea, tea cedary kind of. Kinda. Okay. But I'm not a hundred percent sure what. It yeah. is. I mean, let's taste it again. Let's yeah. taste it. Again. Mm. I mean, the flavor is really nice. There's something almost like um, berryish. I don't know. Like I'm getting like a yeah. It's like, tri like a triple berry pie. Or it's something. so fast. I have a though. little uh, drop of water there because it hits you with the like the high strength. And then the finish is like so swift. Yeah, it's for like sure. There's so no it's like, linger. But you just get like that kind of drying tannin thing from the high percentage alcohol. And but the actual like underlying spirit only lasts like a split second. Like I like it. But I feel like it's like I gotta keep going back because it's oh. not it's not hanging in yeah, there. It got way more nose adding a drop of water. Uh oh, here comes the kitty. Has Yeah. Come here, big man. It's kind of like, yeah. like those Flintstone, uh, nope. Flintstone vitamin oh, okay. yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. fruits. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know what you mean. I know what you mean. They're oh, kind of those like chalky fruits. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, there's a cat on set and he's acting up. Um, he's presenting himself to me. <laughs> he really is. Yeah, I'm have set now that water. did you add some water? No. Like yet, the no. nose honestly blossoms a little bit more. I don't know. This is, um, I'm, this one might be one of those ones where like it just needs to kind of come down a bit mm -hmm. and then I, it'll I'm, like come I'm to life. i because like the nose isn't anything mind boggling, but the flavor is really good oh. up front, but then it kind of just like falls You know what happened so here though? The water brought out a bit of a nutty doughy thing. Mm -hmm. Nutty doughy. Mm. There's kind of this weird like hybrid of like few... Elijah Craig and Four Roses, like yeah, it's like kind of mixed together a little bit. Which those are those are all good things. Yeah, totally. right. But like, it reminds me a little bit of like a barrel strength Elijah Craig um, on the nutty side, and yeah. then it has that few kind of cedary thing, and then just tiny bit of this floral Four oh, Roses thing. I'm getting like a hubba bubba bubblegum grape kind of <laughs> nose or something. I'm getting the bubblegum now. But that's probably because that original like rye kind of feel we had to it. Yeah, it's just like open it up to like being a little bit more juicy. But it has got like a fruity thing. Anyway, we could probably do this video for like an hour. Because this one is just it's mm. just maybe starting to get going. Yeah. This is one that you definitely are going to have to sit down. It's what we Take call your time <laughs> with it. It's Turn off some of the other peripheral distractions. distractions. Like turn your TV off. It's what we call um, a grower, a not a shower. It's a yeah. grower, not a shower. Yeah. All right. So thank you for joining us. Okay. Uh, we are going to dig our heels into this one and kind of get to know it a little bit more. Kind of a cowboy smoke wagon-y kind of yeah. comment there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Dig your heels. Our spurs. Yeah. Dig our so, spurs into this one. If you like the content you're seeing, click like yeah. and subscribe. Yeah. If you want to be part of our Patreon where we give away 
lot you can you can become entered in lots of different draws for different bottles once you become a part of Patreon. Why don't you tell them how to get to Patreon? Well, it's on the internet, that? of course. Yeah. It's on it's the worldwide net. Patreon.com slash Trenny and Z. All right. Okay. Cheers. Cheers.